It's almost as though it's haram to compliment our children. It's almost as though it's forbidden. You can't say, you look nice today, you look so good. Great job on the test. I'm so proud of you. You're doing wonderful. Keep it up. You can't say it, it hurts. It hurts too much. For, our, for Muslim men, it's, sometimes it's very painful to compliment your wife. It just, it, it hurt. I understand, it hurts in the liver, right? There's a particular spot over here in the ribs. Sharp pain happens when you compliment your wife. I understand. So the moment you compliment her to ease the pain, you have to say something mean right after that. Right? So you say to your wife, the dinner's pretty good. Could have used more salt. <laughs> like, you have to balance the equation all the time. You can't just say something nice. And that's what she says, can't you just say something nice? You ever heard that before? <laughs> that's with your wife. But with your kids, it's even harder to say nice things. Especially where I come from. We're really good at not saying nice things. Your child struggles in mathematics, he's doing poorly, he's not very tuned into mathematics, he usually gets a 70, a 65, and one day that same child gets a 95 on their math test. Greatest day of their life. They've never seen a 95 before. Then they bring it to you, Mr. Pakistani father. <laughs> oh, but look what I got, 95. What do you do? Next time get 100. <laughs> Come on. Come on. How hard is it for you to say something nice? We have to compliment our kids because it builds their confidence. Subhanallah walhamdulillah wa la ilaha illallah Subhanallah walhamdulillah wa la ilaha